Hello everyone, it's me, Psycho River from KO Force. Now, before you ask, no, my camera is not damaged again. I'm doing this on webcam so I can read what's on my screen while narrating back to you guys. This is on the recently, uh, I saw this on Event Hubs. They have a log of the complete changes to Arcade Edition 2012. Now, I'm just going to get my initial impressions some specifics on characters. If you want to actually look at the log, the link is in the description. Let's just go ahead and first I'll say my initial things is it seems like a lot of characters are getting buffs, especially in terms of active frames and frame advantages. Some of them are relatively minor, but it's noticed. It's worth acknowledging. Some characters are getting, a lot of them are getting small damage buffs, and it seems like only a few characters are really getting one of the glass highs nerfed completely. Some characters are getting a little bit of tweaks, like slightly nerfed to some, while at the same time they're getting partially buffed. Let's just go ahead and look at some of the specific characters that caught my eye. And one I really need to point out is uh, Ryu. Um, looks like his Hadouken are going to get slightly more damage and it'll keep its chip damage at 15. Um, looks like one thing that's interesting is crouching medium kick hit detection extends from three frames to five frames. Um as heavy shuriken is actually being made a one hit move. Um that's pretty interesting. Uh a little more details on it. It's damage in the first and second active frames is one sixty and in the third to fourteenth active frames it's sixty low. Um it's from start to fourth frame that's totally invincible. Um, and here's an interesting thing, mid-air follow-up is impossible. Now, when Arcade Edition came out, Ryu got nerfed slightly, and I never understood why in the hell they did that, because Ryu was fine already. I don't think he necessarily needs to be changed or nerfed, but whatever. Looks like he's getting a few advantages now. Ken's been slightly, looks like, slightly buffed. Um, his heart hit combo has an expanded hitbox for the second hit downward. Now, and it's another major thing. His damage on his EX Shoryuken's been increased slightly. And another interesting thing is his far standing kick has startup changed from his 12 frame to 11 frames. Um, yeah. Just some minor touch ups to Ken. Um, Another character I really would like to point out. Let's see where is he. Um, and here's something I don't understand. Why the hell is Honda getting any more buffs? Looks like his upper body and his sumo headbutt is totally invincible from start to 14th frame for the light version. Now, okay, here's a nerf I missed. His damage until the second active frame from, went from 130 to 100 for the light version. And. Wow, medium version of the headbutt from starting to the 10th frame is projectile invincible and totally invincible around the foot. Um, looks like, it, wow, his hundred, heavy 100 hand slap has got his final hit expanded. Well, its hitbox has been expanded, so it's easier to connect with characters, that's kind of ridiculous. Now, hold on a second. And another thing that really I don't fucking understand is they made his EX Oishi throw stronger from 100 to 150. Okay, whatever. Um, this is my character I want to look at. Hmm, looks like Guile has a few changes. His, um, a lot of his startup, startup time has been changed. His spinning back knuckle can change from 90 to 100 damage, which, whatever. And flash kick damage has been increased too. Uh, looks like his sonic hurricane also has increased damage potential for follow ups. There's no change to the actual damage though. Alright, that's another character I noticed. That's some significant increase. Sagat so looks like he has a small buff. Um, his angry charge damage has been increased. And his crouching medium punch has an expanded strike hitbox. That's pretty interesting. And here's something I don't understand. Viper. 
they nerfed her burst time ultra combo, but they also made the hitbox different, so it's easier to hook into a combo. And her burning dance now has been increased slightly damage wise. Now, let's see. What else is here? Oh wow, this is stupid. EX Seismic Hammer's damage has been reduced and it's eliminated throwing its ability. I honestly don't think they should have touched Viper because she is perfectly fine the way she is in my opinion. If people are complaining that she's too good, try playing Viper. She's not the easiest character to pick up. Um, so, damage has been decreased on Aerial Burning Kick, but it's made... You can currently do follow-ups with Heavy Thunder Knuckle or Burst Time after EX version fully hits. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, Fuerte got buffed, which doesn't make any sense to me. Fuerte did not need anything changed. I mean, he's already got nasty mix-up and a lot of really good uh, tactics. Though he's not the best character, he does have some nasty tricks and he has that infinite, which is actually pretty useful. Um, yeah, looks like his guacamole leg throw has reduced landing stun from 13 points to 10 frames. His crouching light punch is apparently made all light version attacks rapid fire cancelable. Cancelable. Now, this is interesting. Yeah, just looks like his case at Via Bomb. His EX version's charge time's been decreased, which really, it doesn't matter because KC bombs never been useful for me, or whatever. Buffing for is a little odd. One noticeable thing I do need to point out about Abel is that his crouching heavy punch is expanded hitbox, so it's easy to use as an anti-air move. That's a little odd. Um, but I guess it could be useful. And his breathless has Throw invincibility removed after the start of his dash. Okay, just a few things I'll put out there. Now, here's somebody who got significant changes is Goken. I'm not going to go into that because there's a lot of changes. You should go check it out yourself. But it looks like he's getting a few good advantages. Um, Cammy has, um, Looks like not much has changed for her, except the major thing I don't like is that it puts spin level, decreased distance, all version pushed back. That is, why, while I do think it's good, it's kind of bad at the same time. It kind of makes it way more risky than it needs to, but at the same time, you should be able to use this carefully and counter for with that one, but whatever. Bay Long, looks like he's getting uh, slightly nerfed. Um, which is good because Phalong's retardedly overpowered in Arcade Edition. And, um, and here's my problem with it is he got overpowered to the point where people could just do the most basic Phalong strategies and win. Now, I'm not gonna diss any players for their character choice. If you win with Phalong, that's good. You beat people. That's great. Tournament doesn't matter. I will respect you for whoever you play as. But it just seems like people don't have to do much with Phalong. Um, but yeah, a lot of his damage has been reduced, and his frame advantage is, some of his frames are lost, so. He's getting nerfed. Another character I want to make sure to point out is, Gen's got a lot of change, a few quite few changes, go check those out. Now, the main character I need to look, you need to look into is, Cody is getting some significant changes. Um, some weird ones, like standing medium punch with the knife and now a two hit attack. Looks like he has um, some increased speed when moving forward and retreating. Looks, and, um, his increased hit box stun is done by two frames in his hammer hook. Uh, now apparently it's blocked, it's possible to block when you pick up a knife. Interesting. There's a lot of different changes, a lot of them are increases, or buffs I should say, so Cody's getting significant advantages. Now, Makoto apparently is getting a health nerf by 50, that doesn't make much of a difference, and some of her damage has been reduced, which, I mean, you can't really complain that much, it's not significant enough to be a problem. Makoto's become much better ever since Super Street Fighter 4, so these changes I don't think are necessarily going to affect her too much. I mean, she's slightly nerfed, but it's not to the point where she's unusable. Um, 
Looks like what's his face? Dudley has a few changes, but I'm not gonna get into that. Um Jerry's got it's gonna be so much changes. The biggest thing here is the changes they made to the other year. There is a ton of them. I'm not gonna go into details because there's so many to talk about. But in general, Yon and Yang are getting nerfed. Um, thank God, because that seems to be the biggest problem with Arcade Edition was the twins being really way too good. Um, I will be honest, they are good. Very good. I hope they don't get, I mean, it looks like they're getting a lot of nerfs. I hope they're not to the point where they're unplayable, but we'll have to see once the patch is released. But yeah, there's almost a whole page for each character. One of the things that are getting changed about them, so you should definitely check that out, especially if you're playing as the twins. Evil Ryu and Oni got buffed, which is kind of cool because they ended up getting um, the lesser part of the deal. Mainly in the health department, they're both getting more health, which is good. A couple more things in frames and such. But yeah, that's, what else is there? that's pretty much it. Go ahead and check out the list if you want exact details, as are just my impressions. Anyways, I'm Psycho Ripper, and hopefully the 2012 patch won't be too bad, and it'll balance out some of the issues that were in Arcade Edition.